Hello. This time, I would like to create the issue in Redmine by using REST API. At first, let's sign into Redmine. Before using API, it is necessary to check the setting. So let's go to administration page. Then, click on settings. Go to API tab. Confirm that enable REST web service is checked. If not, check it and save. By the way, you can refer to the specification of API in this help page. Now, only one open issue is existing. To use Redmine API, I use this advanced REST client. At first, let's check the issue by using API. To do that, use get method and this URL. The request was executed successfully and I could get the information of issues. By default, it returns open issues only. Here, you can check the ID numbers of project, tracker, status, and other detail information of issue. By the way, if you change the format identifier in URL, you will get the result in XML format, like this. If you want to show the attachments of issue, you can use this URL. Here, there is the information about attachments. Next, let's check the existing projects by this URL. Currently only one project exists in my red mine. Here, you can check the ID number that will be used during the creation of issue. Let's check whether there are any issue categories are set in this project by this URL. There is one category and its ID number is 2. This ID number is also used during the creation of issue. To check tracker IDs, use this URL. There are three types of trackers, and their ID numbers are shown here. This is also necessary information to create the issue. The last check before creating issue is about users. Only one user exists and its ID number is 1. Again, this is also used to create the issue. Let's check the issues again before creating the issue. The same URL is used to create the issue, but the method is different. You need to change it to post. Go to body tab, and select application slash json for the body content type. Then, input the information to create the issue in JSON format, like this.
ID numbers for project, tracker, category, and user that were checked beforehand are used here. You can use Markdown in the description like this. In this case, API would be bold format. Set the user ID number to assign to ID. Due date is specified in the string type like this. Estimated hours is specified in number type. In authorization tab, input the user ID and password to access Redmine as basic authentication. In headers tab, content type and authorization are automatically filled. OK, let's send this request. The status code is OK. It seems that the issue was created successfully as specified in the request. Let's check in the web application. The issue created by API can be found. As specified in the post request of API, all items are set accordingly. Gantt chart and calendar are also updated automatically. Let's go to the help page again. By the way, if you want to attach the file to the issue, this information must be helpful. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please check my other videos and subscribe this channel, if you like.